Hey guys, I've got an old school test for you today. It's um, looking at reflectors that I don't think I've featured on the channel before, although I have referred to them and get quite a few queries, just sort of drip feed queries in every once in a while on, from the HID guys uh, about parabolic reflectors. So the claims are, there's this one here from Lumatech. Uh, the Turrican, and there's this one there from Secret Jardin. It's called the DI100. And both claim that because of the configuration, they can be hung lower, a higher efficiency than regular refractors, all that kind of stuff. So is it true or not? We are gonna test them and find out. Okay, so I'm just finished testing the Lumatech Turrican. This is the one meter diameter one. Uh, Self-assembly, got to put all these sort of uh, plates together and attach it onto the uh, mounting top on here. So a bit of assembly required. Uh, not cheap at about 121 euros, um, including taxes, not including delivery. So pretty expensive. And unfortunately, we got a bit of a disappointing result. So measured 64 measurements of the par with mylar reflective walls all around. What I see is the optimum hanging height of 50 centimeters. And we've got a 1.2 efficiency. And uh, okay spread, it's, it's, it's reasonably even. But I'm not sure if you can see, um, when you assemble this thing together, even though all the uh, screws are in and they're all aligned pretty well, you still get a bit of unevenness around the edge. And some of the panels are sort of um, bending outwards, some are bending inwards. Anyway, the light is not very even and you get uh, hot spots around the edges. Um, not so much in the center, it seems to minimize the intensity there in the center. But you get these little hot spots and, 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 and uh, intense spots around the edges. And, and it's not um, consistent where they are. I'm not hugely impressed with it from a consistency point of view on the spread um, and an efficiency of 1.2 micromoles per watt um, the comparison is not great um, you know this guy uh, is supposed to be high performance it's supposed to be high efficiency and very low hanging height uh, the dominator triple xl for example or any of the larger square hoods can be hung about 10 centimeters lower than this this is 50 you can hang the dominator at about 40 um, and the dominator will do a 1.3 micromoles per watt with the equivalent bulb and um, reflective walls and uh, ballast and stuff so this reflector is six or seven percent less efficient than the dominator and therefore I wouldn't really recommend it it's uh, I'm not fully sure what the point of it is um, yeah you lose light into the corners because it's round it gives a slightly good spread but it's as I said it's got hot spots so it's just not doing what it should be doing so anyway that's it for the Lumatech Turrican here we have the Secret Jardin DY100 parabolic reflector. It's got a plastic crown here with some attachments for an umbrella type fixing. So this is a, a mylar material, uh, quite a strong material with the um, reflectance on the inside and then this uh, dark material on the outside. Uh, as I said, it's quite tough. Got um, eight of these wires running down to give it rigidity, and it comes out quite evenly. I think you can see underneath here, it's um, quite flat. So quite happy with that. This is in the four by four or 120 by 120 centimeter area again, and uh, fits in quite neatly. The um, hanging height is reasonably low it's 45 centimeters on this not as good as some of the uh, equivalent um, large square hoods but uh, it's it's similar very similar 
Good thing among this one is the spread. The spread is excellent. It's much better than I saw previously with the uh, Lumatech. It's got a nicer, more even spread, less likelihood of hot spots. And yeah, good efficiency too. It's actually uh, for this um, ballast bulb and environment combination, this is the best reflector performance I've ever had. So it's a 1.35 micromoles per watt from a standard HPS bulb with the, um, the Lumi digital reflector, or digital ballast, sorry. That's a really, really good result. On top of that, this is a pretty good value one. For a large reflector, this is a, uh, about 55 euros plus shipping and uh, it ships quite efficiently because it can be packed up in a small package it's quite light to get around much better value than the equivalent dominator triple xl i'm happy to say this would be the hood the best hood that i've tested ever for the balance of good value uh, portability quality and most of all efficiency and spread it's um it's a really good all-rounder and uh yeah, congratulations to um, Suka Jarden for uh, such a nice reflector. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.